Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to install uh, Dynea from source from macOS. Basically, this is uh, described on GitLab instance of Dynea. Now, I assume that you have MATLAB already installed. Let's open up a terminal. Okay, so first you need to install Xcode, select. Now install Homebrew if you are on a M1 then you need to do this with the arch uh, x86 underscore uh, 64 command, okay? Okay, so this is basically the command here. Okay, very importantly, check whether this is installing into user local and not opt homebrew. If you are on Intel Mac, then this should not worry you. Now, if you want documentation, you could also install MacTech. Just go ahead into MacTech, download and install it, and that's it. Okay. Now install install the required homebrew packages. Okay, so for this, if you are on an Intel Mac, you can simply copy and paste this. If you are on an M1 Mac, then you need to again add the arch command there and also indicate that you're using the brew package in the Intel one. So this is will be in under user local bin brew. Okay, install those packages. Okay, and I've already installed all those packages here. So this might take a while. Then we need to link force sphinx doc. Okay, I've already done that. We need to compile and install Sleekot. So for this, I'm actually creating uh, a folder Dynair in my uh, user folder. And here I'm actually having all sorts of directories for different versions of Dynair. Now, copy this. Tardis, go into this folder. and copy and paste this. Okay, then copy the Sleekot over, make clean, and one more time. Okay, copy, there you go. All right, and that's it for Sleekot. Now let's go out of the folder and let's clone the main repository, the master branch of Dynair. Okay, so we will use git for this. git clone, recourse submodels very importantly because we have many submodels in the repository. Okay, then go into Dynair and do a auto reconf slash si. So we need this configure command here, but actually it's not the version 10, but the version 11. So um, basically copy this command over here and when where there's a 10, do an 11. And also your MATLAB installation needs to be added. It's usually in applications. If you did not install Mac tech, then you ne also need to enter disable doc. I did install it, so I don't have to. Okay, let's quickly go through the configuration script here. Now, the important part, whether or not you have a yes here, the documentation is not so important, whatever you want to do, either Octave or MATLAB, there should be a yes here. And the preprocessor, yes. The documentation is maybe not so important. And the mesh files, okay? They are all yes as well. And below here, I also have a yes for all those binaries. Okay. Now, let's do make. I have 
eight cores in my MacBook and this will take a little while. Okay, this took a while, but it finished without error. So now let, let me go into MATLAB in my users directory. Okay, so where you put in the folder. Okay, so I created a folder down there and then I did the git cloning in there and very importantly only include the MATLAB folder here. And now let me run Dynair example one. Don't worry about this X13 binary. Okay, so this works. Now let's also do Octave. Okay, so go into a into your terminal and open up Octave. And now again also add let's add the path. It is users dynair dynair matlab okay so here is okay and this should work okay so you have dynair version 4.7 unstable 